From dogs to dragons, the exquisite dragon robes of the 18th century China that today decorate the South London home of Kol Ling Su. Here, costumes like this imperial skirt, because of its color worn only by men of royal blood, and the sable-lined empress robe are among objets d'art that have taken him 40 years to collect. The collection is worth well over a thousand pounds, and it's not difficult to see why with this beautifully woven belt fastened with a dragon's clasp of gold. Ivory chopsticks, silver tip to show up any poisons in the food. A purse so finely embroidered that it was often more valuable than its contents, all representing a great period in Chinese history. The Western conception of Oriental fashion rarely allows for the extreme climate, but Ling Su's imperial hat of black velvet with her peacock plume is strictly winter dress. An inscrutable Chinese expression completed the picture. But in fact, Kao Ling Su, or Happy Spirit, is not Chinese at all. He's better known as Herbert Collings, president and founder member of the Magic Circle, but also a keen student of Chinese art. The phoenix, official mark of an empress, is just one of the many symbols stitched on the robes Mr. Collings has used in his 10,000 performances of Oriental magic. Designs depicting the imperial five-clawed dragon are shown to advantage in this short lady's robe. Often the only difference between the costumes of men and women was in the sleeves, women having the wider ones. With works of art like these, the collection captures the romance and great traditions of old China.